welcome to KK Java tutorials this is the very first video on maven and it is considered as a introductory video to maven yeah so in this video tutorial we will understand what is maven framework and uh, some of the basic concepts yeah so let's just start uh, so what is maven that's the first question comes in mind right when we talk about talk about the maven so maven is, is considered as a build automation and project management tool yeah so it is a uh, very popular among uh, basically java developers as a build automation and project management tool yeah now second thing you need to keep in mind it is based on the poem that is called project object model it is used for projects build dependency management and uh, kind of our documentation yeah so when you create a uh, maven project in java right then uh, a file is called pom.xml is gets generated it's a xml file uh, uh, there we can specify our all kind of dependency means uh, if you are working on any project right and your project is uh, depends on third party uh, jars right then what happens if you do not use a uh, uh, maven framework then you have to download the jars or uh, binaries or libraries uh, separately from the internet and you need to add explicitly in your class path right project class path and that's really very tedious for every developer right so if you have a 50 developer in your team then every developer is doing the same stuff right why not these things we can automate so uh, so and that's what uh, basically maven helps us right so in pom.xml you can specify all kind of dependencies uh, means uh, means all the uh, libraries dependency you can mention you can mention as kind of some plugins which basically helps us in different uh, to achieve different uh, goals right so these are the steps basically uh, we specify in the form.xml and that is called project object mode yeah now last but not the least things you need to keep in mind uh, maven uses convention over configuration which means developers are not required to create build process themselves uh, maven basically works on the principle of uh, convention over configuration when we say convention over configuration that means when you create a maven project right then all the basically project architecture is predefined means every developer is going to uh, follow the same project structure and when you create a maven project then it is predefined that uh, when you create uh, any kind of uh, like a source uh, file any kind of pro uh, properties file any kind of uh, uh, basically uh, test classes or uh, 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 resource file related to test classes then these files where has to keep or where has to put put these things already predefined right so there is no confusion between among the developers uh, if uh, they create some file then where in what directory they has to put these kind of files right so maven follows the standard basically project architecture apart from that uh, apart from that uh, when your gets compiled right then where binary has to store right once get, uh, you, once your code gets compiled right then all the test cases has to execute whether your uh, project contains the JNU test cases or integration test cases everything has to execute right after that once uh, once uh, binary is generated then you'd like to package it as a jar or var or er that's uh, depends on the, your project nature and once that uh, distributable file or jar or var or er file gets generated then you'd like to store somewhere in the uh, uh, somewhere in the local or uh, local repository so that or you can uh, you can store this uh, distributable jar or somewhere on the remote repository so that other developer can download it and they can use it right so this all kind of process easily we can automate in uh, maven right so there are a lot of advantage of uh, maven and that's why uh, people are using maven uh, a lot right so if you compare with the uh, previous uh, build tool that is called ant uh, ant doesn't have any basically life cycle management but uh, maven has a life cycle management right what is life cycle management these all are the things we will uh, learn in the subsequent video tutorial so in this video tutorial we have we learned what is maven framework right and some of the basic concepts so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys in next video series we'll see some more concept uh, about maven so let's see let's meet there guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial